is now called to order. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May we have a roll call, please? <clears throat> Mr. Prince? Here. Mr. Person? Here. Ms. Palmer? Here. Mr. Corman? Here. Mr. Taylor? Here. Mr. Pavoni? Here. Ms. Perez? Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Thank you, Jason. First item on the agenda is administrative report, Mr. Covington. Yes, Mr. Mayor, uh, just a couple of things. One, I think uh, a number of you uh, participated in the events of this past weekend. Uh, we are tree lighting ceremonies and coupon lights, other fun things to uh, start the holiday. We have um, those uh, venues are still open, so people who weren't able to participate over this weekend can enjoy the lights both at Coulon and downtown uh, through the holidays. And uh, just a reminder, again, we continue to do a number of road uh, construction projects, even in this inclement weather. Uh, as it gets darker, it becomes um, more important for people to just use caution, even during the day when it's rainy. And, uh, so 156th Avenue, we've got some uh, uh, lane closures there between Southeast 144th and Southeast 6th. Uh, we're still working on Main, obviously, between 2nd and 3rd. Uh, Talbot Road, we've got some lane closures there. Uh, working on a detention vault and some water main testing. Uh, Chelan Avenue Southeast between 2nd Place and Southeast 4th, so we can install some storm drainage pipe and structures. And then uh, we're in, as the Council knows, we're continuing to work on Logan. That'll be closed through August as we reconstruct that road. That is all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Next item is audience comment. We have one person signed up to address the Council. If you'd like to come to the podium, give your name and City of Residence for the record, and you have five minutes. We have a timer right next to the city clerk here. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, my name is Jolene Ellen Statz. I live in Upper Rainier Beach, and my concern tonight is uh, homeless homelessness. And um, there's a place called um, Walgreens on uh, Rainier Avenue and Sunset, Northeast Sunset. I can't tell you how many times I've been there, and I've seen so many homeless people, but the other night, I was there at five o'clock at night. There was three homeless men parked on the east side of the wall facing Rainier Avenue, and they were they had their penises out and were peeing right there. I got out my camera and started taking pictures of them because I'm not afraid, you know. <clears throat> but I mean, it's getting, you go you go to Fred Myers, you've got problems with the same situation. Ever since they put this, excuse my language, damn bus stop right there on the side, we, we never had this problem until they brought in this metro bus stop right there and my, Hope is that they move the bus stop up or way down. I mean, if you can't walk three blocks to, to wherever you're going from the hub in downtown Renton, then there's a problem. I, we need to move the bus stop is what my concern is. And I've talked to the corporate office at Walgreens. I've got the manager's card with me. I'm speaking on their behalf. And they have tried to get you in Metro to move <clears throat> the bus stop. What is it gonna take somebody, and, and all that comes off that bus is trouble. I've sat there with my husband, my husband's a Seattle firefighter. We've sat in a car and watched people go into Walgreens, shoplift stuff, come back in, give it to somebody else, and then take it back in and, and ask for cash. I've called on the phone. You know, and then the poor, you know, you get the, the people working there, you know, they can't do much because they could get attacked when they leave the store. There's not enough security. And, and I know the police are doing the best they can, but I mean, it takes a village. It, it, we're, we all need to do something. I help, if you look up the three strikes you're out law, I helped pass that law with Mike Lowry. And Ida Bayashotis, I don't know if you know her, she's a state representative from Mercer Island. She was my best friend. Mm -hmm. And she passed away 
We met in 1992. <clears throat> Her daughter was killed by some idiot, tortured, raped, and beaten for two days, and then left on the side of the road dead on the third day. I don't want that to happen to Renton. And I see all these weirdos out there. You know, let's do something. And, and you know, it's like nobody wants to do it, anything. They just want to, they'll, they'll see it, but they want someone else to do it. I mean, look at everybody sitting up here. Which one of you want to help? I mean, let's, let's do something. I mean, I'm talking, people are getting to the point where they don't want to come to Renton anymore. I mean, we're in, I, I'm in, in Upper Rainier Beach. I come to Renton because I like Renton. I don't go to the valley, but people are getting tired of the trouble and all the weirdos in Renton. They're going to leave. And then what are you going to have? You're going to have even, you know, I, we need help. I can call the police 120 million times. They'll escort them off the private property, and then they come right back. I'm sure there's some that are good homeless people, and I'm sure they didn't mean to come out here <coughs> to be homeless. They didn't grow, they weren't born to be homeless, it just happened. You know, and I feel sorry for some of them. And the children that are homeless, you know, my heart goes out. I passed the Battered Women's Coalition law. You know, I'm very active. I'll do whatever you guys want me to do, but we need to do something before it gets out of hand. Well, it's already out of hand. Do you have any suggestions? No, we're not gonna solve it here tonight, as you can well imagine, and <clears throat> you're coming from Seattle, which has just declared a state of emergency because of homelessness in Seattle, so it's a, a problem throughout the entire nation. Um, a lot of people get very frustrated with the fact that homelessness people have rights and unless they're breaking the law uh, they have a right to be there and so they can sit there and pull out their penis no they no they can't no they can't do that and so kids are getting out of the car to go into the store no they can't do that that's that's something on so which the time they could the take police action come, you know i don't have a smartphone no. i just got a digital <clears throat> camera you know i but we know we know it's a, a significant issue. It's the one of the top topics that every jurisdiction is talking about. Uh, Portland, Los Angeles, Seattle, King County have all declared a state of emergency over homelessness. The state of Hawaii has done the same thing. It's a big issue. Can't we? What, can't we? I mean, look at old McClendon's. <clears throat> it's just sitting there empty. I mean, I'm sure there's enough volunteers that can help. Why can't you open that up and Well, and you know, we, we it just, we're not in the business of seizing people's property and making them homeless shelters. That's privately owned building. That's the problem. Everything's privately owned. Yeah, well, you can see it's complex. Anyway, thank you very much for your comments. We understand what you mean. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Person. I just have to make my comment. I, I want to be sure that we don't misconstrue homelessness with people who are I call who hooligans <clears throat> that are committing crimes and 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 the, there's a whole bunch of people out there who are homeless that we d wouldn't even recognize that they were because they try and hide it and they take so I don't condone uh, the type of activity you're talking about and this council has on numerous occasion occasion expressed its concern that we we address that in our meeting today and i think you were in there you heard the chief talk about how many citations they'd issue uh and an arrest made for when they find that kind of conduct so we want to be sure we're not targeting the homeless we want to target those hooligans that are stealing and doing that <clears throat> and the the stats that we got to uh, tonight were uh, encouraging in the fact that a few weeks ago, a few months ago, we wouldn't have had that many arrests and stuff. And so the, the, the council and the mayor and the police chief, I know, are putting emphasis on it. And I would wish that if you see that happening, that you dial 911 and somebody will respond 
and they'll take the appropriate action. Mr. Mayor? Yes, uh, Mr. Taylor. I would like to add that uh, <clears throat> I think that it's important that we don't uh, make a broad general uh, statement about a, a group of people who perhaps are homeless for a variety of reasons, which is more complex than many people can wrap their head around. So, and, and it comes down to individuals who are disobeying the law, whether they're homeless or not, or whether it's a, and how do we know the individual's homeless? So I think we need to be careful of uh, using that broad uh, uh, way of describing people, especially in the climate that we're in right now with much of the rhetoric that we're hearing that's really inflaming uh, the fears of different people about certain people in different groups. We have to be careful and uh, balanced and, uh, and use wisdom in uh, how we uh, make our observations. And, uh, and I happen to know many people in the homeless uh, uh, agencies and who are doing the work. As Mayor mentioned, you know, there's been a state of emergency that's been passed. There's a lot of work being done right now. There's a lot of concern about the problem. But we don't want to think about things such as uh, moving a bus stop, uh, inconveniencing many people that utilize that service for coming and going. And, and these kinds of things. There's other more uh, rational ways to think this thing through, find out some of the efforts that are going on, and to seek to join those efforts, <clears throat> as I'm sure you, you're, you're, you're able to do. You've got a history of uh, passing some statewide initiatives. So there are some coalitions and some groups and some agencies that are doing some work, and I would recommend that you seek joining those. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. OK, moving on to the consent agenda. We have 11 items for council consideration. Are there any items a council member would like pulled for discussion? Mr. Mayor, I'd like item F pulled for discussion. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Mayor? Yes, uh, Mr. Prince. I move <clears throat> that we adopt the consent agenda as presented minus item F. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman that council concur with the consent agenda minus item F. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, Mr. Person. Well, Mr. Mayor, the, the last meeting we had a presentation in, on our uh, legislative priorities, and my understanding is the council's legislative pr priorities. And I mentioned a couple things that I felt should be included in those, and I was told at the time that well they would make some adjustments and then and bring back bring them back and we'd have a <coughs> further discussion. So. Unfortunately, I got the new uh, form on my email on, on over the weekend. However, my computer didn't <clears throat> have it all. Have it all. So, I, I would like to hold that for a week so we have a chance to take a look at it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cummings, uh, well. I think that's fine. I, I, I'll, uh, I think we tried to incorporate all of the suggestions the council <clears throat> uh, uh, recommended. So, uh, well, we can. What we can do is we'll just make yeah. sure you've got it and then bring it up next week. Okay. Um, moving on to unfinished business, Mr. Prince. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Mr. Person. Uh, yes, I have one finance committee report. Finance Committee Committee Report, Approval of <clears throat> Claims and Payroll Vouchers. The Finance Committee approves for payment on December 7, 2015, claims uh, vouchers 343127 through 343470, four wire transfers and one payroll run with benefit withholding payments totaling $5,561,234.15, and payroll vouchers including 750 direct deposits and 47 payroll checks totaling $1,625,368.58. This is signed by the committee chair and member. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. President. The council concurring the finance committee report. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Person, second by Mr. Pavoni, the council concur with the finance committee report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay, Ms. Palmer. Yes, I have two <clears throat> committee reports. Hey, Transportation Aviation Committee. Uh, supplemental Agreement Number Four to Contract uh, 12-008 with Coast and Harbor Engineering. The Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve Supplemental Agreement Number Four to CAG 
12-008 with Coast and Harbor Engineering for the seaplane based dredging and shoreline mitigation project and to amend the maintenance and shoreline mitigation CIP fund by transferring $40,000 from the airport ending fund balance. The transfer will be included as part of the 2015 carry forward budget adjustment. This is signed by the committee chair and member. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Ms. Palmer. I move the council concur with the committee report. <clears throat> Second. It's been moved by Ms. Palmer, seconded by Ms. Perez, that council concur with the Transportation Aviation Committee report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice have it. Okay, the next uh, Transportation Aviation Committee report regarding uh, the <clears throat> SR-169 Stage 2 widening project. The Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to adopt the resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute the following agreements with the Washington State Department of Transportation to assume ownership and responsibility of operation and maintenance of portions of rights of way, landscaping and stormwater facilities that are related to the I-405, I-5 to SR-169 stage two widening and SR-515 interchange project. Uh, the first is city and state operation and maintenance of state owned and city owned luminaires. Two, the general maintenance agreement Benson Road. Three is the general maintenance agreement for maintenance of SR-515 landscape strips and stormwater facilities. And four is a turn back agreement after I think construction completed. The committee further recommends adopting the related resolution signed by the committee chair and member. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Ms. Palmer. I move that council concur with the committee report. Second. The move by Ms. Palmer, second by Ms. Perez, that council concur with the Transportation Committee report. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Ayes have it. Okay, Mr. Corman. And no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Mr. Taylor. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pavoni. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, and Ms. Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, moving on to resolutions and ordinances. We have three resolutions and three ordinances for second and final reading. Yeah, the <coughs> first resolution is regarding the Seuss Creek Trail. A resolution of the city of Renton, Washington, authorizing the mayor and city clerk to enter into an addendum, uh, into addendum A to the 2009 interlocal agreement with the King County relating to processing of clearing, grading, and associated building permit applications for the Seuss Creek Trail. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Taylor. I move that this resolution be adopted as read. Second. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Taylor, second by Ms. Palmer, that this resolution be adopted as read. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay, the next resolution is regarding uh, the uh, city's deferred compensation plan. The resolution of the city of Renton, Washington, amending resolution number 4221 regarding annual reports of the deferred compensation 457B plan by the investment committee to the city council and adopting the Tia Cref Financial Services Company 457B deferred compensation plan document as amended. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Palmer. I move the resolution be adopted as read. Second. Okay. It's been moved by Ms. Palmer, second by Mr. Corman, that this resolution be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. And the final resolution is regarding the uh, uh, interlocal agreements with uh, WASHDOT. A resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, authorizing the Mayor and City Clerk to enter into four interlocal agreements with WASHDOT regarding the I-405, I-5 to SR-169 Stage <coughs> 2 widening and SR-515 interchange project. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Palmer. I move the resolution be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Palmer, seconded by Mr. Corman, that this resolution be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay, the first ordinance for second and final reading is regarding a uh, street vacation in uh, near <coughs> Rainier Avenue, 300 Rainier Avenue North. An ordinance of the city of Renton, Washington, vacating a portion of right of way in the vicinity of 300 Rainier Avenue North, uh, file number VAC 15-003. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Palmer. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Palmer, seconded by Mr. Corman, that this ordinance be adopted as read. This requires a roll call. Mr. Prince? Aye. Mr. Person? Aye. Ms. Palmer? Aye. Mr. Corman? Aye. Mr. Taylor? Aye. Mr. Pavoni? Aye. Ms. Perez? Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all ayes. Ayes have it. And the next uh, ordinance for uh, second and final reading is regarding uh, property tax exemption. 
Ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 41220, property tax exemption for multifamily housing in residential targeted areas of Chapter 1, Administration and Enforcement of Title 4 Development Regulations of City Code by extending the property tax, tax exemption. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Perez. I move this ordinance to be adopted as read. Second. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Perez, second by Mr. Pavoni that this ordinance be adopted as read, and that requires a roll call. Mr. Prince? Aye. Mr. Person? Aye. Ms. Palmer? Aye. Mr. Corman? Aye. Mr. Taylor? Aye. Mr. Pavoni? Aye. Ms. Perez? Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all ayes. You guys have it. And the final <clears throat> ordinance for adoption is regarding uh, uh, an extension of fee waivers. Uh, an ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 41210, waived fees of Chapter 1, Administration and Enforcement of Title 4, Development Regulations of City Code, by extending the waiver of certain development and mitigation fees. Mr. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Taylor. I move that this uh, ordinance be uh, adopted as read. Second. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Taylor, seconded by Mr. Corman, that this ordinance be adopted as read. Requires a roll call. Mr. Prince. Aye. Uh, Mr. Person? Aye. Ms. Palmer? Aye. Mr. Corman? Aye. Mr. Taylor? Aye. Mr. Pavoni? Aye. Ms. Perez? Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all ayes. You guys have it. Thank you very much, Jason. Moving on to new business, Mr. Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. We have a committee to hall on Monday, December 14th, <clears throat> 6 p.m. Um, in the 7th floor conferencing center. It's a reception for our outgoing council members. And that is all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Mr. Person? Uh, no new business. Oh, okay. yes, Mr. Mayor. One thing, I guess it's actually old business I forgot from Thanksgiving. I, I just want to let the public know and say thank you to our city employees who uh, came down to the Renton Senior Center on Thursday, <clears throat> uh, Thanksgiving Day, and helped put on the dinner. And I also like to say thank you to Renton Rotary and its members that were there to help serve the dinner. We served 240 sit-down dinners <clears throat> in a very short period of time and close to another 300 takeouts so people would have uh, a meal for the next day. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you. You were there at 5 a.m. along with uh, city employees George Stahl and Kevin McQuiller and uh, one of our community members Martin Patricelli, and I think that, and Ken Taylor, and that goes way and above uh, yeah. to get up at 4.45 in the morning so you can be there at 5 o'clock uh, to start the <clears throat> cooking. But everybody appreciate it. Carol Ann Witchie was, was there as a council member. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody. It's the uh, 21st year that we've done this. And uh, they, they made me sign up for another year. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Well, thanks, Mr. Person. And I do want to mention, as everybody here obviously knows, Don has been spearheading this for the 21 years. And um, <clears throat> he's responsible to make sure that all of the food is there and then he is the traffic cop that makes sure that everything is getting cooked and prepared and sliced up and ready to serve those people. So it's been a huge contribution on your part to the seniors of this community for a lot of years. So thank you, Don. Okay, let's see. We left that's you. We're going to I, Ms. I interrupted, uh, Marcy. I'm <laughs> sorry, Marcy. No, that's fine. Always good news. Uh, yes, I am announcing that the transportation committee, normally scheduled for tomorrow, Tuesday, December 8th, is canceled. And that okay. is all. Thank you. Mr. Carmen. Hi, yes, Mr. Mayor, just an announcement uh, that planning and development committee meeting is canceled for December 14th, and that's a Monday night. So you guys all on vacation? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mr. Taylor. Yes, um, I'm announcing that the utilities committee that normally would be scheduled for December 14th will be canceled also. That okay. is all. Thank you. Mr. Pavoni? No new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, and Ms. Perez? Yeah, the community services committee that will be normally scheduled on Monday, December 14th will be canceled. Okay. We have a full house. That's great. Um, Mr. Mayor? Yes. I'm sorry. Can I get a clarification on the time for the committee of the whole? Six o'clock. Six p.m. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, audience comment. Was there anybody that wanted to address the council? See a couple of firefighters in the back. That <laughs> no. What's the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. Second.
Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, Howard. I'm Howard. Howard. Just Howard McComber Benton. Just wanted to thank all you guys for all the support that you've been for our, for our community. You guys do a fabulous job. Don, you're a hero. But this is just the way it's been. I appreciate your support. We're going to need a lot of help. Um, this is a good time of year. It's going to be tighter in January and February. And, and wherever you go, if you just keep spreading the word, I think personally Renton has the strongest coalition of volunteers and support for everybody. And like, like you say, you can't see who's homeless and you can't see who's having problems. It's just reaching outside yourself trying to make it a little better place. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Move, we adjourn. Second. The move by Mr. Person, second by Mr. Prince, that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned.